The Roanoke Police Department is investigating a video that's circulating on social media claiming to be Sean and the Honey Tree Early Learning Center on Patrick Road. The woman who posted it says she's a former employee. It shows a child crying and was posted to social media with a profane caption. Roanoke Police could not provide further details because the investigation involves a child. The Roanoke County Sheriff says the inmate who walked off a work detail Wednesday should never have been on work release to begin with because of his violent criminal history. The Sheriff's Department launched an internal investigation into the matter. This is video that 10 news cameras captured as numerous police agencies searched for David McFall. He was on work release at the county garage. They eventually found him in the area after three hours of searching. Sheriff Eric Orange says in an email in part, based upon the crime for which McFall was convicted and the length of sentence, we know the, number, the, the staff member responsible for selection and placement failed to follow the guidance of policy. McFall was serving three years and two months for felony robbery. According to the county's policy, inmates with violent criminal history or those convicted to more than three years are ineligible for work release. McFall met neither of those qualifications. Sheriff says McFall will likely face more charges. If any action is taken against the deputy, Sheriff Orange says it will not be disclosed. This morning, police are searching for a man whose crime was just upgraded to murder. According to police, 72-year-old Melvin Smith died Wednesday at Duke University Hospital following a stabbing earlier this month in Danville. The case is now being investigated as a homicide, and officers are still looking for this man, 39-year-old Lindsey Tony Wilson from North Carolina. Still no word on a motive for this attack. New this morning, a woman protesting the Mountain Valley Pipeline in Montgomery County was arrested after locking herself in a construction area. These are the photos provided by Appalachians Against Pipelines. They show the protester known as Violent in her makeshift shelter located on the pipeline's path in Elston. Appalachians Against Pipelines says Violet blocked the easement for five hours before being arrested, charged with misdemeanor obstruction and released on $2,500 bond. The Commonwealth has a new Office of Outdoor Recreation, and the Roanoke Valley is poised to play a big part. Governor Ralph Northam was at Carvin's Cove, surrounded by canoes, trailers, and bikes made right here in Virginia. The new office highlighting how the outdoors is good for workers and great for businesses who make the outdoors their business. Our diverse outdoor assets combined with our number one ranking as the country's top state for business from CNBC make Virginia the perfect backdrop for new and expanding outdoor businesses. Roanoke Valley leaders say already existing companies like Orvis show this area is a great place to be. Yes, it is. And the governor also stopped in Franklin County where more than half a million dollars is bringing Internet access to those who need it most. That money will help bring broadband internet to 615 homes in the county. Governor Northam says it's all about getting ahead to train people for the future. You know, we're training individuals for the 21st century workforce, and in order to do that, uh, in order to have jobs, in order to educate, in order to have access to health care, uh, we need broadband. The money was awarded by the Taco Commission as part of its Revitalized Virginia program. First Lady Pamela Northam focused on education in her visits locally. The new program she recognizes being crucial to learning coming up in the next half hour. Stressing the need to address the migrant crisis at the border, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine is pushing a new piece of legislation. He says it will put an end to what he calls cruel treatment of children at the U.S.-Mexico border. It sets standards for the treatment of children in the government's care. New York Senator Chuck Schumer says he'll lead a visit to the border with other Democrats to check on conditions. This will be at the same facility Vice President Mike Pence visited last Friday. A new poll released this morning focuses on southern states, including Virginia. It looks at a wide variety of issues, from the president to what's most important to voters. NBC News polled registered voters in 11 states from Texas to Virginia. The president gets a 54 percent approval rating. He's doing better in the south than other places. A national poll shows his approval rating at 48 percent. Southern voters say the most important issue right now is immigration, followed by jobs and the economy, and then health care.
Coming up on 508 this morning, 50 years ago today, three Americans forever changed the course of history. The Apollo 11 mission ended the space race and threw open a new window into science and the future of exploration. The historic journey is being remembered around the country, including at the Air and Space Museum in Washington, where Jay Gray is this morning. That's one small step for man. A footprint that leaves an impact even now half a century later. The mission carried out by more than 400,000 people from 20,000 companies in every state, working around the clock for nearly a decade. Liftoff. But with the rocket leaving Earth, the lunar module racing through the great unknown, and the lander settling in the sea of tranquility. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. The focus narrows to just three men. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. I'll be outside at night walking down the sidewalk and there's some sort of illumination over my shoulder and I turn around and look, it's the moon. The moon, oh, <laughs> I've been there. It is the unique perspective of a group of heroes at the time, completely locked in on their historic journey. We didn't sit around and high five one another. We worried about what next, get that checklist out. Still, he could not ignore the magnitude of where he was and what he was seeing. It was a magnificent sphere, magnificent. But it was the view looking back that now leaves the strongest impression on Collins. The whole show was, um, was the Earth, tiny little Earth. It projected uh, to me a, a feeling of fragility. I could not explain that at the time, and I can't explain it uh, really now. Fifty years later, and a world away, Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington. Fascinating to hear their mm -hmm. stories. Uh, coming up in our next half hour, our new quest to return to the moon and the new approach NASA will have to take this time around. Oh, okay. Have to stick around for that. 510. In what's news today, the city of Salem and Ride Solutions launched the expansion of the bike share program, adding two new stations. Lynchburg Humane Society kicks off a weekend of deals. Adoption fees for cats and kittens are waived today. You'll still pay a $6 microchip fee. Tomorrow, adoptions for dogs, cats, and kittens are half off. The Smoke on the Mountain Barbecue Championship gets underway in Galax. Thousands will gather to try some of the best barbecue around as dozens compete. You'll also enjoy bluegrass and old-time music. Events continue tomorrow. Just taste the barbecue now. Enjoy great food and music in Pulaski at the annual rib event. Eat lots of food while enjoying music from a handful of bands. That's Friday from uh, uh, today from 11 to 10 at Jackson Park. 510 now. It is lottery winnings, tax refunds, or an inheritance. If you come into extra money, we're working for you on how to invest it. Plus, there are a lot of illnesses that you can pick up from a pool, unfortunately. New at 540, going for a swim can lead to sickness that lasts weeks. What you can do to protect your family as you jump in the pool to stay cool this weekend. Plus, the Taco Bell Hotel is about to open. The unique and spicy swimwear they'll have once you check in. And a major heat wave starting today. We're going to show you a region by region breakdown of how high the heat index is going to get. And relief is coming. The three major changes coming by next week. We'll talk about those coming up in just a few minutes. Shop Grand Home Furnishings' $19 million summer storewide clearance sale today. If you're watching this channel using an antenna, listen carefully. Rescan Day is coming, so follow three simple steps to continue receiving this signal. One, press menu on your remote control. Two, select setup. Three, choose antenna, then channel scan or auto tune. Your TV will rescan all available channels, including this one. Here's the date and time to rescan this channel so you can keep watching. Questions? Go to tvanswers.org. And remember, plan to rescan. Need a car right now and don't know where to go? At My Rider Roanoke, we'll approve your loan in just 20 minutes. Great vehicles at only $199 down at My Rider Roanoke. And remember, bad credit, no credit, we'll forget it. You thought the beef and cheddar couldn't get any more delicious. And then Arby's added bacon to it. And you thought, oh, okay, now, okay, but it, it can't get any better than that. And then Arby's made them two for six bucks. And, and then you thought, okay, but no, it, it can't get any better than that. <laughs> and you were right.
Arby's, we have the meat. You left your family alone tonight, but you're not worried about what you'll find when you come home. You're thinking how nice it is to get out of the house for a night. You're thinking about how you're new to the neighborhood, but it's already starting to feel like home. You're not worried about what's going on at home. Well, maybe just a little. Stay close to the moments that matter. Cox Home Life takes care of the rest. Monitor and manage your home, packaged with internet for as low as $49.99 per month, free HD camera included. Everyone who has ever lived has lived here. All of mankind's triumphs and failures. Every moment, every hometown, all here. We start our coverage on the ground and take it to the airwaves so you always know what's happening in your own world and beyond. We are free TV and radio. We are breaking news. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Need a car right now and don't know where to go? By Rider Roanoke, you can drive today for just $1.99 down. Every vehicle comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. And remember, bad credit, no credit, we'll forget it. 514 now on this Consumer Watch. Tax refunds, inheritance, lottery winnings, or the tax rebate you'll get this fall. It's always nice to come into some extra money. Here are some ways to invest it to give you a richer life. The first thing to do when you get a windfall is nothing. Take at least a month to plot your course, more if the money's big. When you do start writing checks, the first one should be to creditors. Pay off your 18% credit card. It's like earning 18% risk-free and tax-free. Next, to have a little fun. Get something you've always wanted, or better yet, take a trip. Then put your windfall to work. Invest. If you don't know how, learn or find a professional to help. The big thing there, do the fun stuff last, <laughs> which is what a lot of people do first. Unfortunately, they do, and then you still got that debt sitting out there yeah. that you could have paid mm -hmm. off. Well, if you're looking for a great new car, the 2019 Jeep Wrangler was named Kelly Blue Book's most awarded vehicle of the year. It was also previously named the vehicle research company's list of 10 best SUVs under $30,000. It also won best resale value and five-year cost to own awards. You have a Jeep? I do. I don't have the Wrangler. I've got the Cherokee, but uh, I've always wanted a Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in my future. It'd be nice on a fall day. Probably not today. Yeah, today you'd want the top <laughs> on with the AC blast. And here's something we all like. Krispy Kreme celebrating his 82nd birthday today with a one day only dozen, only a dollar dozen deal. Whoa, oh. that's, that's a mouthful there. It is. <laughs> the chain's offering one dozen original glazed donuts for just a dollar today with the purchase of any dozen. There's also a new limited time birthday batter donut to celebrate the occasion. It's filled with cake batter, dipped in strawberry icing, and topped with colorful party sprinkles. The birthday donut's only available through Sunday, so hurry while supplies last. And we did a little taste test just for you, so we could tell you all about it. Our good friend Coulter in the newsroom yes. brought in a dozen of these yesterday. It was so good. Amazing. It's really sugary. It is very sugary. I think it maybe good know, to split. Kept me going for like three hours. <laughs> it did. But the, the sad thing is, is that once you come down off of it, the crash is kind of hard. Oh, I don't know. They were so good. They I could have probably eaten that whole box. It was yummy. The, the filling in the middle was <laughs> worth really it. Really good. We're less than a month out from Taco Bell's opening its hotel and resort in Palm Springs. I really want to go here. I do too. The limited time property called the Bell will focus a great deal on food. Taco Bell promises many fan favorite foods will be available as well as yet to be released menu items. Mm. Think toasted cheddar club with hand breaded chicken, jalapeno bacon and avocado oh, wow. served with nacho fries. The hotel will also have a gift shop where you can buy bathing suits inspired by <laughs> sauce packets. <laughs> so are you mild? Are you hot? Are you verde? Uh, typically go with the mild. <laughs> Back in my younger days, it was definitely as hot as you could make it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really, I love some Taco Bell. Yeah. Me too. I've not been very often, but uh, yeah, you were saying hot as you can make it. That's pretty much our weather today. <laughs> it is outside, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and check out some of the latest advisories from across the area. Heat advisories in place today from about lunchtime to 8 p.m., mainly for Southside, Lynchburg, and also this includes Bedford. This is where the heat index could top 105 degrees. By tomorrow, Halifax, Charlotte, Appomattox, and Nelson counties under what's called an excessive heat watch, which hasn't been issued for our area since 2012. So it's not just that, oh, it's summer and it's hot. This is excessive heat that we're talking about in parts of the area. Heat index between 2 and 6 p.m. today through the weekend, 102 to 108 in Southside and Lynchburg, 98 to 103 in Roanoke and Lexington, Martinsville and Rocky Mount in the 90s in the NRV and in the Highlands. Guys, it's been a few years since we felt air quite that hot. And here's why we kind of make a big deal about this. And this isn't meant to scare you. It's just the statistics show that heat is the number one weather related killer, not just last year, but when you look at the 30 year average, heat unfortunately comes out on top above flooding, above tornadoes, above hurricanes. So that's why we spend so much time talking about this. And for some of you, it may seem like we're making too much of a big deal out of it. We're not. It's really that serious. So seek shade, stay hydrated, wear lightweight and light colored clothing here these next few days. And as always, check on your pets, check on the younger kids, check on the elderly, especially those that maybe don't have AC. For today, temperatures in the low to mid 90s. That's the air temperature. Again, when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel a little bit hotter than that. Temperature, I've got a fly going past me, 96 <laughs> in Roanoke and Lynchburg. Even the flies trying to stay cool. 90 in Blacksburg, that may be our first 90 degree day of the year. 96 in Southside for today. 98 tomorrow in uh, Smith Mountain Lake for Pirate Days. 94 the high on Sunday. And again, factor in the humidity going to be feeling hotter than that. So staying very hot through the weekend, this cold front finally sags through by Monday, giving us rain and then eventually by Tuesday and Wednesday, some relief in sight. Your extended forecast showing the heat lasting through the weekend, mid to upper 80s Monday with those showers and storms becoming more numerous because we're still very humid. We're going to have to watch out for the potential of localized flooding, but look at next week. That's a big cool down. Temperatures upper 70s, low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday with a lower humidity as well. Guys, that's going to feel really nice. 80 for a high. We won't know what to do with ourselves. Time Tabor traffic now at 520 looking good. Slow down. It looks like uh, near the North Carolina border near Ridgeway in Henry County on 220. Also a couple on 220 in the Roanoke Valley, but things moving along just fine. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Rory McIlroy quadruple bogey the first hole of the Opal Open Championship, finished eight over. David Duvall put up a 14 on a par five. A lot of forgettable golf played, including Tiger Woods flying the green on this chip. That is headed to Never Neverland. He finished at seven over for the opening round. Contender Shane Lowry from Ireland, a rock solid four under day to get things started. And American JB Holmes for Birdie to move to minus five. The Kentucky native holds a one stroke lead after the first round. Leaderboard jam packed at minus three, including Brooks Kepka. The Delta Dental State Open at Ballyhack Golf Club. 42 players did not complete round one because of a weather delay. They'll start again this morning. Seven